I voted today. I voted early in person, and you can too, at any county courthouse in the 7th District or in the state. It's exciting for the country to see conservative women. Um, they're stepping up and winning those seats, and they're going to be part of um, moving the country forward. The Republican Party is promoting women, getting them involved, making sure that they are holding leadership positions. Colin Peterson needs to do more than say he's frustrated about stopping line three. He needs to rescind his endorsement of Governor Tim Wall. It's a conservative district, and I think that people, what, I, what people were calling and encouraging me about is they wanted a strong conservative voice. Although Colin portrayed himself as a, you know, a conservative Democrat, his voting record didn't didn't prove that. And so we, we made sure that people understood uh, where his voting record really was. In 1996, a state Senate seat opened up. It was a, a gentleman resigned. And so there was a special election in January and February in Minnesota. And one of the coldest on records. Kind of the strange thing that people talked about for a while was when Al Franken resigned, the governor of Minnesota appointed his lieutenant governor to the Senate seat. And constitutionally in Minnesota, the president of the Senate becomes the lieutenant governor. But a little bit more of a twist on that is there was a one seat majority for the Republicans. So I maintained my Senate seat and we had some old, um, old law, old case law that uh, would allow we believed um, someone to hold both seats. So I stayed through the end of session and then eventually did, after a second lawsuit was filed against me, eventually did uh, resign my Senate seat and, uh, and became Lieutenant Governor. Well, I think one of the big things that we do need to look at is the economic recovery. And that is something that we heard a lot on the campaign trail about, you know, we had shutdowns in Minnesota. It, it really, it devastated small businesses. And in rural Minnesota, that's what makes up our, our real economic life. I know they're talking right now about another COVID relief package, and it really needs to be focused on those small businesses and getting the, getting the relief where it needs to be going.